Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Baylor Bears, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the... They put a stop to that return at the 22. Line gets set, first down. Looking for space, it's Haynes. Fighting off the defender. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. This defense has got to get better at tackling the open field of game tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. The Tide will get the first down. If you're going to play Bama tough, you're going to find out really early if you can handle the running game. They're going to check your chin. I mean, they're going to come in and they're going to give you a steady diet of it. Even when they've had great quarterback play and spread the ball out, it's still a physical principle. They're going to make you stop the run. If you can't stop it, it could be a long game. Fires to the wideout. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. And now on second down for this offense. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Unleashes one. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, the timing on that throw and on the route was just convoluted and messed up from the beginning. And you see quarterbacks and wide receivers in the offseason always working on timing and always working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. A lot of times, you'll see these little mistakes and where it looks like just they're not on the same page all the time. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity. But great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. On the run, still looking. He chucks one out to the right. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. That's a big-time completion. And guys, I think they caught the defense napping right there. I think everybody on defense thought that they were going to maybe throw to the sticks on that one, but instead quarterback had some other ideas he had a matchup he loved one-on-one -on -one, vertically down the field he took advantage of it this guy made a great catch let's keep this drive going handoff to the lone back 
and he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yards. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The short hands, it's Williams. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. My old coach said, you never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, never complain. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. Looking downfield, it's Milro extending the play. Fires to the tight end. Touchdown, Bama! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Makes a move. Dynamic on kick returns, and that one puts his offense in business. Looking for a productive play on first down. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Good little pick up there as he saw some daylight and got what he could. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate. And you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes. They do it with ease. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. That's reeled in, it's Richardson. What a play by this offense, finally out of bounds, and a perfect way to wrap up the first quarter. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Looking for a man. It's Finn. They're trying to get to him. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you're going to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping him. A couple more. Got some room headed to the goal line. Give him six. Touchdown, Baylor! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And the extra point was good as they finished the drive. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. They'll run this play from the pistol. They'll put the tight end in motion. They go to the ground. And he moved it slightly forward. Defense played it well. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. He wants to throw here on second down. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Oh, what a move! Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. 
And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the... Oh, look out! Oh, I thought he was taking that all the way, but they stop him at the seven. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A nice job by the defense. First and goal situation. You can expect run a lot of the times. They were physical, got in the backfield, stuffed the run. Back to throw. It's Finn getting some heat, using his legs to buy some time. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bay! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. All right, he up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The tied offense rolls onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. That's caught. It's Haynes. Still on his feet at the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock, didn't get the snap off quickly enough. Right, After the five-yard step off, first and 15 for this offense. Dino, Dino. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Makes the grab along the sideline, but it'll be a little short of the first down. Alabama quickly back to the line. Assault continues. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. On third down, he drops the throw. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And the offense didn't need to accept the penalty thanks to that big play. Alabama comes to the line with first and ten. 
he wants to throw. If the quarterback's a little more on target there, maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. On second down, he's looking downfield. Deep shot for the end zone. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. What a play by the defender there, guys. In his own end zone. The offense has taken a shot, and if that defender was just one step behind, that would have been a touchdown. But the hit forces the incompletion. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Looking to scramble. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Let's it fly. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown time. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. An 84-yard drive there. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And he takes this from inside the 5. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Running toward the tape. The 30. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves, and he's got it down to the 16-yard line. I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers the football in space. What a creative way. This little kind of push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. Wants to throw on first down. Quick completion on the out route. Headed to the end zone. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Baylor! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Got room at the 35. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. To the air, it's Milrow. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that pass picked off. And he'll be brought down, and that's how we'll end the first half.
going to get the ball back right now, lining up for an onside kick to start the second half. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They didn't, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with accuracy. I, I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Grabbed behind the line. It's Baldwin. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it. Got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. On second down, they'll take to the air. Pulls it in. It's Jackson. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Bears! The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 28, Alabama, 14. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in a much better field position. Here comes that Alabama offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. And it's picked off for the third time today. Made the play on the...